as you know, wedding venues and getting ready rooms and pretty much any place that weddings are held are really, really conscious of putting the correct light and photographer friendly colored lights in the rooms and great angles and all the things to help photographers make their jobs that much easier. And if you're believing me, you've clearly never done a wedding or you've done a wedding at a really, really cool venue that had photographers in mind when they were built because venues suck. Let me tell you, no, don't get me wrong. I love venues, but the lighting is always terrible. The lighting is always mixed or super orange or black ceilings or all kinds of crazy stuff that just give photographers lots and lots of headaches. And there are things that you can do to help adjust for this. And there are ways to light things and you can turn off lights and some, some things like that. But sometimes you just can't get around it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to, in editing, get that dress looking pearly, pearly white. And I'm going to go over a couple of methods that work to make sure that your edits come out spectacular. My name is Will. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Will. Nice to meet you. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Always good to see you. So as discussed, we're going to go over a couple of methods to help make that dress look white. And because the dress itself is white is a huge boon for us. It's a let me tell you that dress being white and sometimes they're not, sometimes they're like off white. Sometimes they're black. I have seen black wedding dresses. Sometimes they're not white at all, but that's okay. It's the bride's choice and whatever makes them happy on their wedding day is what matters. But when the dress is white, it does help handle the color. So here we are in Lightroom and let's say you edit this photo. Now this is just, I just kind of slapped on some color edit on this thing. Here's the before. Here's the after, but as you can see, I've done a little bit of tweaking because obviously there was some orange cast light in here. You have the, the natural light coming in from the window and then you have the orange light from the lights and it's just a whole cluster deliciousness of lighting. So after my edit here, actually I'm gonna remove something here, I don't like this. And I will tell you right now, this is not a complete edit, I just got something ready so I can show you these methods. So the first method is simply easy. It is the white balance. Obviously you do your best to get the white balance properly, but if you're shooting raw, which you should be absolutely shooting raw in weddings, you can always adjust it in post. Easiest way to do that is simply click this little eyedropper tool or press W on the keyboard, which is its hotkey, and you can select a neutral color. Now, how do you know that it's a good neutral color? Because I'm sure some of you are saying, well, I've done this and it's completely changed the white balance and it looks like absolute garbage. And that's true. So here's the little trick for that. Obviously, the wedding dress is white. Obviously, her nightgown is white. But is it true white? So the easiest way to do this is find a little pigment area, a color area that's neutral, that has no color, white has no color, and look at the bottom here. Look at the bottom of the targeter. You see how it says R, which is red, 83.3, green, 82.2, and blue, 78.3. These are percentages of the colors inside this color that make up the white. Now, if they are close together, they are as close to neutral as possible. You wanna keep it within five to 10%, the best you can. In this case, this would be a perfect color because it's within 10%, 83, 82, 78, that's actually 5%, that's perfect. So if we click that, that's gonna set our white balance to give us the perfect whites. You see that? Now that whole image is completely white. Now, don't get me wrong, some people do like that warm tone and that's totally fine too. So once you get proper white, then you can just adjust the white balance as you want to add a little bit of warmth in it. However, this is the base to start so you know where proper white balance is. And that is tip number one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just throw in some orange here, just like that. Now, the next step is if that doesn't handle the color cast, like there's some light that's just hitting it and it's just really looking icky, then you can go down into your color grading tool, which is really, really powerful. And we're going to go into highlights because generally the dress is in the highlight band because it's bright and white. 
Now, the easiest way to do this is if you want to offset a color that exists in your image is to add the opposite. So in this case, you have a yellowish tone, so you want to add bluish tones. If you have a pink tone, you want to add a green tone. If you have a red tone, you want to add a teal tone, blah, 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 blah. Add the opposite. Basically, add the complementary color to counteract the current existing color. So in this case, you have yellow in there. So if we click on, you can click here, you can click here, you can do whatever you want. But in this case, let's just click this little circle here and we're gonna find the blue and then we're going to press shift, which will give us this line and we're going to add it until we get it correct. Now that doesn't look good. So that's clearly the wrong, wrong color. So let's see here. Sometimes it sticks, I don't like it sticking. So let's find, I think right there, actually, that looks pretty good. So here's the before and after, before and after. That looks a little bit better, but personally, I'm not 100% satisfied with it because obviously we added that fake orange warmth in it, so it's not gonna do kind of what we wanted to. Obviously, it does look better, but I kind of cheated the system on this one to give you that example. Now the last one, which I personally love, and it works basically 95% of the time, and it works if you like to add a mood color to your image without changing the dress color, if that makes sense. Now, before we get to the last tip and actually the coolest tip, because obviously it's at the end of the video, you know, I gotta get you to watch it, you know, for YouTube purposes, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Okay, thank you. For example, let's take this image here, which I absolutely love this. This venue had a really old payphone, which I'm sure some of you watching this video have no idea what that is. This is what we used to use to make phone calls when we were out and about, not cell phones, these babies. Drop in a quarter, dial in the number, have a certain amount of time limit to make your phone calls. Yeah, that's right. I'm that old. <laughs> okay, so with this one, let's do this. Let's say I wanted to add the, make this a little vintagey photo, but I want the dress to be white. So let's warm this up a lot. And notice how the dress is turning really yellow and we're gonna darken this down is going to give this a mood, right? Now, that's good enough for me. I can add a little bit of green to kind of give it that vintagey vibe and drop saturation down. Okay, good. So, here we have our edit. So, we have our style, but that dress is looking icky. It's a beautiful dress and the color looks icky. It looks dirty. I hate when colors look dirty. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the masks and this is the genius of our masks. Uh, these mask updates. Honestly, people do not use them as much as they should because you just don't think about these things. I'm 100% guilty of it myself. I'm like, why didn't I do this millions of times before? Blah, blah, blah. Because I'm an idiot, you know, that kind of stuff. Anyways, that's me. So you're going to click select people, you're going to click the person, and you're going to just click close. Oh, not reset. Genius. I'm so good at this right now. Um, undo. Good. Let's try this again. Obviously, you see where I'm going with this. Uh, you're just going to click close. And the cool thing about this, pause for dramatic effect. Lightroom is giving us some buildup to the epicness, or it's just not going to work. What is happening? There we go. Good. Click close. Okay, good. Click create mask. Don't click reset. Beautiful. Now that we have this selected, we can then do our adjustments. Sometimes the mask does not fully pick up all of the clothes. If it doesn't do that, press add, add with a brush. Let's say it's right here, you know, you just add that. Good, Command Z. Sometimes the mask picks up more than just the dress. So subtract, brush, and then remove whatever area. There's nothing to remove, but you get the idea. Once you have your mask selected, simply adjust two things. First, the white balance. You can adjust it in add blue to make it perfectly white. If that still doesn't work, or if you don't wanna do that method, saturation and just drop the saturation down it all it's all going to vary based on the dress and the color cast but for this minus 40 because i like solid numbers looks amazing that dress is popping off the cool thing about this method is because i used a, a select people mask rename this not clothes but wedding dress you can now copy this mask 
and then paste it on all of your other photos. Now, sometimes when you paste it on photos with multiple people, this will pick out the groom or some other person in the <laughs> in the photo, which I don't full, I, I kind of get, but I also don't get it. I guess it assumes, it, it assigns, this is person one, two, three, four, and that changes. So this is person one. So every time it assigns person one to someone in a photo, that person one is gonna get that mask. So then you have to go and adjust it. However, you're able to do this on all of your photos and no matter the color cast, no matter the, the setup, no matter the situation, you can do this and get a really pure white dress that will pop off your image. Now, I hope that helps because this has been very, very helpful and very, very successful with me for getting that true white dress. So if it's good for you, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already because you don't want to miss a video. If you have any questions, you know where the comment section is. But, uh, bug. But other than that, we're all done. So here's a couple of videos you should go check out because I think you'll like them. And with that, I bid you adieu. I'll see you in the next video.